All right, so now we're gonna go through the process of cleaning up an oil base paint. Uh, for this, I'm gonna wear safety glasses because something might splash and I really don't want this stuff in my eyes. We're gonna open the can of paint first so we can return the unused portion to the can. And again, you wanna pull that trigger, make sure you're draining the paint out of the gun head at the same time. Pour it back into the can. And with oil base, I usually like to take a little bit longer time and let this drain because it's a little more difficult to clean up than water base. Now I use a turkey basting tray I get at the dollar store for uh, less than a buck. I think you get three for a buck. And it's a great way to use uh, for cleaning up because when it's nasty, you throw it away. All right, I think that's pretty good there. So we'll close up our can and get this out of the way. Now, with oil base, you wanna use mineral spirits to clean up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill some into the can here. It's about half a quart I put in there. I'm gonna swirl it around a little bit. And I'm gonna let that work on the paint inside the cup. Now I'm gonna take the gun and I'm gonna pour some mineral spirits over it. You wanna make sure you cover everything where it's got paint. And pour some on the nozzle. And at this point, I usually just set it right down here in the tray. And I'm gonna get in there with a rag. And there's really only one day, way to do this, and you just have to do it, all right? Get the rag damp with some mineral spirits and start wiping parts down. It's important to get your paint off of this gasket because if it builds up on here, it can cause you problems getting a good seal on the top of the cup. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess paint that got on the outside of the cup here. Because now what you wanna do is you wanna put that gun back on the cup. And I'm gonna shake up that mineral spirits. I want to make sure I get that paint covered with mineral spirits all the way through the gun. I'll let that soak for just a minute. I'm going to get my air hose from the 5500 and connect it so that I can spray that mineral spirits through the gun. I'm just going to spray this right down into my tray. But the trick here is I use my rag to spray into so I don't squirt the, the uh, mineral spirits up into my face. Now you can see it comes out the color of the paint that was in it at first, but almost immediately it turns almost clear there, spraying just the mineral spirits out. So again, I'm gonna shake it up. I wanna get that mineral spirit spread around inside the gun as much as possible and continue to spray until it appears to be coming out clear. Okay, I'm going to disconnect my hose, take the cup off the gun, and now you can see 
There's a little bit of mineral spirits in the bottom of that. It's still the color of the paint. I'm gonna pour that out. And basically what we've got now is a clean cup. I just wanna get in there with a dry rag and clean that up. And again, you wanna make sure you store the system dry. Best way to do that is I just leave it open like this and let it sit on my bench for a few hours until it's dry all the way through. Then I can put the gun back together and store it inside the spray station.